the octonauts and the yellow-bellied sea snakes. My little one needs his first dolphin checkup. Well, then let me just get my stethoscope and... Whoa! You're a quick little one. Junior, hold still now so Peso can examine you. At least he's getting plenty of exercise. His heart sounds nice and strong. Barnacles to Peso, there's a storm on the way. You need to return to the octopod as soon as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm taking care of my last patient and then I'll head back. Your baby is perfectly healthy. Here, you deserve a sticker for being such a good patient. Thanks, Peso. There's a storm coming. Will you two have a way to stay safe? Don't worry, Peso. We'll dive down below until it's over. <laughs> You don't have long until the storm hits. Are you heading back? Yes, but there's something humongous hovering above me. I can't tell what it is. Can somebody help me? Please. Captain, whatever it is, it's calling for help. I better check. Understood, but be careful. You don't have much time. seen so many snakes all twisted up together like this before. Peso, what color are their bellies? Bellies? Let me check. Yellow. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. They are yellow-bellied sea snakes. They live their entire lives in the ocean and sometimes join together to make a giant floating island of snakes. So this is perfectly normal? Yes, but be careful. That yellow on their belly is a warning. They are poisonous. Poisonous? Yes, very poisonous. <gasps> Don't startle a sea snake. I might bite you. I'm sorry about that. I thought I heard it cry for help. Yes, yes, I need help. Well then, what seems to be the problem, Madam, uh, Snake? Call me Simone. Right. Um, well, Simon, I'm Peso. How may I help you? There's a splinter of driftwood stuck in my scales. Peso, the storm is picking up speed. You need to get out of there. Don't worry, this won't take long, Captain. Just need my tweezers. Are you certain you know how to help me? I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter how scaly... Or hangy, or poisonous. Now, don't move, and I'll have that splinter out. Whoa! The move I've got to send in the man. Captain, I'm surrounded by sea snakes on the beach. They need help now. And my flipper oh, seems to be broken. Don't worry. We're coming for you, matey. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the guns. <laughs> on this beach with a group of yellow-bellied sea snakes. And he's got a busted flipper. Don't worry. I can guide you through all the steps you'll need to bandage my flipper. The real problem is all these stranded yellow-bellied sea snakes. They can't move. Oh, and this summer sun is really heating up the sand on the beach. Yes, and that is bad for our delicate scales. And it's getting hotter by the minute. Oh. 
Why can't the sea snakes just slither back into the water? Most snakes could, but yellow-bellied sea snakes can barely move when they're out of water. Well, I'm not afraid of snakes. I'll just pick them up and toss them back into the water. Problem solved, mateys. Never pick up a yellow-bellied sea snake. It's not safe for you or the snake. They're very delicate. Yeah. Then what do we do? We'll have to work it out when we get there. Hey, so! Shiver me whiskers! How's that busted flipper, matey? Okay, as long as I don't move it. Ow! Like that. Easy there. Stay still. We'll do our best to make it as good as new. Thanks, Captain. But first, we need to take care of Simone and her friends. It is so hot and so dry. My scales are sizzling. We need to cool them down right away. Agreed. Tunip, Vegemals, you keep the sea snakes cool and wet. Super, super! But how do we get them back in the ocean if we can't lift them up? Hmm. Tweet? If we can't bring the yellow sea snakes to the water then we'll just have to bring the water to the snakes so the water does the lifting ingenious all right everybody we're gonna build a little swimming pool right here on the beach faster than you can see bunch of munchy crunchy carrots <laughs> Vegemals, take your positions. Activate water pump. Oh, so wonderful. Oh, so good. It's working. Good work. Now, open the pool. Let's help get that water moving out to sea. Octomont, grab your paddle. That's it. Me home, mateys. But Simone's still stuck. How do we get her off Pesa without hurting anyone? We've got this. Ready, Simone? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> ah. Thanks, Octonauts. How's that splinter? It still hurts terribly. Captain, Quasi, you need to fix my flipper so I can help Simone. All right, Peso. We're ready. We are? Talk us through it. Okay. Open my medical bag and take out a medium bandage roll and a splint. Uh-huh. Good. Now we're ready. Okay, Captain, hold the splint under my flipper. Right. Now, Quasi, wrap your bandage around three times. Fast. That's it. Captain, press and hold. Quasi, tie it off and you're done. Well, matey, what do you think? How do you feel? Good as new. Whew. Hmm. And now, let's remove your splinter. But how? You lost your tweezers in the storm. And you've only got one good flipper, matey. Don't worry. One should be enough. Hold still, Simone. This won't hurt a bit. Oh, please hurry. I can't stand this suspense. There. It's out. It's out? Oh, it's hot! Oh, you are simply sensational, Peso! Oh, just doing my job. Good work, Peso! Adieu, my brave and gentle penguin! Adieu! Adieu, Simone! Adieu! Oh, oh. 
Bellies don't live on land. They cannot move at all on sand. We see snakes live out in the open sea. They swim in water gracefully. Sometimes they make a giant float. And then they drift along just like a sea snake boat. Go see snakes, feel belly. Go see snakes. The Octonaut and the Loneliest Whale What are you doing, mateys? We are listening to the most popular song of the summer that doesn't sound like any sea shanty I've ever heard. That's because it's a whale song made by humpback whales. Look! Whoa! These whales are on their way to their summer feeding grounds. They use their songs to talk to each other. And they can hear the songs even when they're miles and miles apart. And the song they're singing now has been really popular this year. All the humpbacks are singing it. It's the only song on the radio. Listen. Here. Here. And here. Humpbacks all over the world singing the exact same song. Incredible. Give me try. Hang on, that's new. Maybe they got tired of the old song. No, I mean it sounds different. I never heard a voice like it before. Maybe these whales have, Dashie. Good idea, Captain. Excuse me, humpback whales? Yes? Sorry to interrupt your journey, but we just wondered if you'd ever heard a song like this before. Nope, not heard that before. It doesn't even sound like a humpback. The singing doesn't match anything in the Octopod sound collection. Whatever's making that noise, there's nothing like it in the ocean. This could be an entirely new species of whale. Or an entirely new species of sea monster. Well, there's only one way to find out. Octonauts, it's time to investigate. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The tracker is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It, it's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. Hear that? It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one, and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm Hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. 
And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller jaws are? Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh! So that's why the early whales can't understand me! Yow! What was that? Oh, gee! <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling! I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits? Captain! Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. Hmm, Joe needs food and fast, so we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Joe here is hungry and all alone. If we're going to help him, we need to find a way to make the other whales understand Joe's song. I might have an idea, Cap. With a little help, I think I could build a special machine that Joe could wear that would make his voice sound like the other humpbacks. Oh, really? Oh, but won't that take a long time? I'll have it done faster and you can save a bunch of monkey crunchy fish biscuits. It's our best shot. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Go, Joe. You can wear the Joe coder on your neck. Just tap it with your fin when you want to sing, and your songs will go from this. Go ahead, Joe. <coughs> to this. <coughs> hey, I sound like a regular humpback. Now I can. <coughs> Joe's gone. The loud noise must have scared him. We better find him fast, or the other humpbacks will be gone for good. There's no time to lose. Let's go. <sighs> no sign of him, Captain. We found Joe before, so we can do it again. Peso, check the tracker and look for a big shape. Uh, I'm looking at the tracker, and it's covered in big shapes. Of course. We're surrounded by whales. We have to find Joe before they pass by on their way to the feeding ground. Maybe we could sing. I'm not sure now's the time for singing, matey. No, I mean, what if we could use the Joe coder to make me sound like Joe? Good idea. Then Joe will want to see who else sings like him. Tweak. I'll just change that and reverse this and there. That ought to do the trick. Right, Peso. Go for it. Well, here goes nothing. I hope you're listening, Joe. <gasps> what was that? It might be my tummy. Think I ate something funny for lunch. <laughs> Keep trying, Peso. You can do it. <gasps> That's it. He's done it, Captain. Now we just have to hope Joe can hear it and wants to see who's singing his song. There aren't many whales left to pass, Captain. Soon it'll be too late. Come on, Joe. Where are you? What? That sounds like my voice. Hey, so, where'd you learn to sing like that? I'll show you, Joe. Oh, it ain't gonna make that terrible noise again, is it? It's fixed, I promise. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe it! It works! <laughs> Like 
Let's just hope someone's listening. Hey, who's that singing? What a great song! It's our pal, Joe. Oh, I love your style. We're on our way to the feeding grounds. You should come with us. Oh, gee, thanks. And thank you, Octonaut, for helping me sing my song. Listen. Singing your song. Now go. Good work, everyone. Joe should have no trouble finding the feeding grounds now that he's teamed up with the other humpbacks. And they really seem to like his song. It's not just Joe's friends. Humpbacks are singing it everywhere. <laughs> Humpback whales sing songs. They like to sing them loud and strong. When a humpback has something to say, it can be heard from miles away. If they find a song they like, humpbacks around the world will sing it day and night. 